Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will introduce you to BitGit's AI bot known as their Futures Quant Trading Bot. And by the end of the video, we will have deployed one of these AI bots. So before we get too far into the weeds, we need to do a little bit of recon and see what this BitGit Futures Quant Crypto Trading Bot is all about. And so for those of you who have followed my channel, we've deployed a lot of different bots and in the past those offerings operated in a fixed manner, meaning they were best suited for certain market conditions. For instance, grid bots are best suited for volatile markets, whereas a martingale trading bot is best suited for trending markets. Well, apparently the BitGet Futures Quant bot is backed by a series of trading strategies, including BitGet's AI and powerful algorithms, thus apparently making it suitable for a variety of market environments. And so a couple of the features that this Futures Quant bot offers would be, unlike other bots when using the Futures Quant, users do not need to fill in or confirm any strategy parameters. There's really nothing for you to do other than give the bot ammo, which we will take a look at here in a moment when we actually deploy one of these bots. And so this bot is completely automated by the backend AI, which continuously optimizes the settings according to the market conditions. And so you action junkies out there looking for a lot of action out of your bots, this bot might just be what you're looking for as the future quant bot targets short-term gains by frequently making trades. However, supposedly it meticulously selects buy and sell time points to enhance profitability. Now, we are going to put one of these bots to live fire testing and see if it actually does meticulously select buy and sell time points to enhance profitability. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get one of these bots deployed. And to do so, we need to obviously jump over here to my BitGit account. Now, if you don't have a BitGit account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link to join BitGit, you will get a small discount on your trading fees. Once you are set up and you make a deposit in USDT over here on BitGit, you can then jump over here to the Trading Bot tab, scroll down to where you see Futures Quant, give that a click. That will bring you over here to the Futures Quant dashboard where you can either choose to go long, short, or you could choose to go neutral. Now, hopefully I don't need to explain the difference between long, short, or maybe neutral you're not familiar with, but obviously long, you're looking for the price of the asset to go up. If you're choosing a short strategy, you're looking for the price to go down. And then a neutral strategy is, again, one of those choppy or volatile strategies where the price is just moving sideways. And actually, if we switch over to the four hour chart, you can see Bitcoin is actually trending down currently. So perhaps the short strategy would be the most profitable strategy if you think Bitcoin's price is going to continue to trend downwards. It's currently trading at around 64,000. Now, if you think a reversal is coming, you might want to choose long. However, I think these strategies are more long-term strategies, whether you're long, short, or neutral, because again, this quant bot is supposed to use AI to automate the strategy, thus making it the best possible strategy given the market conditions. So if I select the long, the next thing I probably need to do is select what asset I actually want to trade. And currently there are only two options. You have ETH or Bitcoin. And again, I'm looking to go long. If we look at the last seven days, apparently this bot would be down 3%. So that makes sense since the market was moving down. If we look at the last 30 days, now it's down almost 11%. And if we look at the last 90 days, down 23%. And so I think this represents your return on investment, which is for a recent bot, you would be down 23% if you went long back 90 days ago. And if we look at the weekly chart, 
you can see back in this area where ETH was reaching up to its all-time highs and it since sold off, bounced, and is now selling off again. And so I guess that's where it's coming up with the bot would be down 23%. And so with that all in mind, I'm still going to deploy this bot as long. If we take it, look at short, you can see the bot would be up just slightly over 90 days. And if we take a look at neutral, the bot would be down 8%. But I'm going to stick with my decision to deploy this bot to go long and see how it actually performs over, let's say, the next 90 days into the future. Because keep in mind, backtest results do not guarantee future results. And with that all in mind, I will do update videos on how this bot is performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those future videos. All right, so if we look at some of the intel for this bot, we can see that a long strategy is suitable for bullish markets. I still believe ETH is in a bullish trend that could be broken if ETH's price does get down below, say, 27.50 then we would probably be in a bearish market. The number of users actually using this strategy is around 2,100. Trading pairs, currently they only have two, and that's BTC and ETH. The recent return on investment for this bot, as we mentioned, is a negative 3.21% over the last seven days. Maximum drawdown was 4.73%. And then the win versus trade ratio is 80% with 1,000, almost 80 wins versus 255 losses. You would kind of hope with that high of a win rate, you would have a profitable bot. But again, keep in mind the bot's current profit represents past performance and does not guarantee future results. So really the only thing I need to do besides deciding on what direction I want the bot to go in is to actually give this bot some ammo to go to battle with. And you can see the minimum amount I need to give this bot is 370. So let's go ahead and we'll give the bot 400 USDT. And that is with a 10x leverage. You can adjust the amount of leverage. If I use less leverage, then I'll need more margin or more of my own money. If I increase the leverage, then I need less margin, which would be my own money I'm putting up for risk. I typically trade futures at 10X. That's a pretty high risk level of leverage. I do not recommend anyone trade at 10X. In fact, if you wanna make this very low risk, you could lower your leverage down to 1X and then you're almost guaranteed never to get liquidated, although there is a chance, even with 1x, of getting liquidated. And then you can go to a max of 20x. However, as you can see, they don't recommend you exceed 10x. And so for this strategy, I'm going to stick with 10x as far as my leverage goes. And then the margin of 400 USDT. Now that is my actual funds that are going to be at risk of being liquidated. Now, they don't offer a stop loss or anything like this. However, that's actually automated. If we jump over here to the intel about this bot, you can see that it will terminate the bot when necessary without requiring user intervention. Now, I do suggest you do your own recon before you deploy one of these bots. And Bicket offers a ton of intel about this bot. So before you deploy one of these bots, always do your own recon. I am offering this video for informational purposes only and not investment advice. So with that all being said, the last thing I need to do is click create. I will get a confirmation of parameters, strategy type, futures quant, order direction is long, 10x leverage, and my margin, the funds I have at risk is 400 USDT. And now I can click confirm. It's created the bot. And now you can see my futures quant bot is up and live and running. And so that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will be doing update videos on how this strategy is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, sound off in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.